you. Um, so my redemption story, I, uh, I was very fortunate to, to be born and, and grew up in a, in a Christian home. And, uh, you know, just to receive the truths of God, even from a very early age. And now I'm very you know, grateful that I was able to accumulate knowledge about God, knowledge about the Bible, um, you know, because of my Christian upbringing. And when I was uh, a youth, um, I loved church and I loved um, the, the friendships that I made, the activities that we were able to do. Um, but there was a few things wrong with my uh, theology with my my faith during that 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 time um, you know one was uh, my my view of myself and my my sin nature I I knew that I was a sinner that, that I, I did wrong things but I also figured I did a lot of good things and didn't do the really bad things so I overall was a good person and that God would give me a thumbs up uh, on my life um, but that is not what the Bible says about humanity. You know, in Ephesians 2, it says, As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed uh, the ways of this world. And so the, the Bible really lays out this picture of you know, God being perfect and, and almighty and, and all holy, and, and we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Uh, the other thing about my Christianity during during that time during my youth um, was that uh, you know I, I prayed the prayer when I was four years old. I, I don't have any memory any memory of it, but my mom tells me about it. Um, and I and I got baptized when I was uh, I think seven years old. But Jesus was never really Lord of my life. There was so many things in my life that uh, you know were high priority, and, and Jesus and God and, and faith was always kind of off to the side and kind of ancillary to, you know, what, what I was really all about. <clears throat> and so this kind of belief system carried on through adolescence, high school, into, into college. And I remember getting invited to a Bible study was when I was in college. And, and th those two points uh, really kind of started a shift as I got into this Bible study. I saw um, these, these guys living out this faith that was so authentic and, and so real and you know they were much better men than I was and yet they were so broken over their sin so broken because they knew that God was holy that, that they had fallen short and and that um, they needed rescuing in that relationship with God they needed Jesus in their lives I thought if they need Jesus to rescue them, and I definitely do as well. And then, you know, we were reading through the book of Matthew, and I was reading Jesus say things like, if anyone is to be my disciple, he must take up his cross and follow me. And he says, if you hold on to your life, you know, you'll lose it. But if you lose my life for, you lose your life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you'll save it. And I thought, this is, this is so unlike what, I would, had ever thought of, of Christianity before. This is, you know, true, like, lordship. Jesus is the Lord of my life, of everything that I'm about. And so it's kind of in that place that I, you know, decided, hey, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to make, you know, Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm going to truly give my life to this faith that, that I learned about as a kid, um, but wasn't all that real. And, and now um, I, I, you know, want to... Uh, want to pursue it full force. And, and God has been, I, you know, I, I say that, and God has been so faithful to kind of provide ways in which I can kind of continue in that from, um, you know, finishing college and, and going right into a place where I was getting challenged to, to go out and, you know, share my faith every opportunity I could, even on train stations and things like that. And, you know, being able to go and, and be abroad and, and share the gospel with, with people who never heard the, gospel before and now you know to be a part of this this church and be you know come alongside with so many others who are um, of this of this of this mind of this belief of this pursuit and uh, so I'm grateful for for all of you I'm grateful for God for uh, redeeming me and that's my redemption story